Canada, New Music Nation. I'm Ed the Sock, and this is Yo Canada. This is the very first show on New Music Nation, so we're gonna try to make it good, but I haven't done this for like 14 years, so I'm probably gonna be a little bit rusty. Um, and so if you notice me saying um and ah uh, a lot, uh, that's just me doing an impression of Prime Minister Trudeau. Uh, so uh, we're gonna be showing you videos from uh, artists from across the country, uh, various genres. They're very talented people, but because there's so much crap out there, it's hard for good people to get uh, attention. So we're going to be giving them attention. And what's this guy doing? What are you doing over there? What are you doing? You want to take a picture? Come over here. Come over here. We'll take a picture. Come, o come over. Take a picture. How's it going? How are you? Good. Awesome. Good. I used to love you when you used to be on TV. I can't find you anymore. You don't love me now? I love you now. All right. Take a picture. Okay, take a picture. But right. here, you're closer. You can take a picture up, up close. All right, let's take a selfie here. Hold on, do it this way. Perfect. There you nice. go. Appreciate it. All right. So that happened. All right, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. We're going to begin with our national anthem, uh, as produced uh, to, for us by uh, McCurdy. It's a video that says, we all say A. Now, if you need a way to introduce Americans to what Canada is, this is a great video. Strap them down, Clockwork Orange style, and make them watch this. It's a tribute to Canadian pop culture past and present. And appropriately enough, as I said, it starts with O Canada. So uh, if we'd all rise, please, for our national anthem. Oh, Canada, our home and
Welcome back to Yo Canada at the Sakya. I hope you all rose for the national anthem. Um, those who didn't, there's always Viagra. So that was a cheap joke. That was, I, I, we should do that again. That was a bad joke. I really shouldn't be starting out this thing on a wrong foot with such a bad joke like that. Viagra jokes, is there anything like the lower form of life than uh, Viagra jokes? So we'll here, we're we'll starting again. <laughs> all right, ready? Hey, welcome back to New Music Nation. That was uh, McCur uh, McCurdy with We All Say A. And uh, in, there's, there's people fighting here. What's going on? Uh, so in Canada, hello? Hi. How are you? Good. You're in Canada? Yeah, I'm in Canada. Cool. Where are you? I'm pretty sure it's Canada, but I'm subject to belief. You're subject to belief? I believe I'm in Canada. I could be wrong. What if we're in Narnia? We could, and we wouldn't even know. Well, we would know, because there would be horses and centaurs and shit like that. What if under a magical spell? Uh, uh, well, I, I don't feel ensorcelled right now. He could be a centaur and we wouldn't know. He could be disguised. Does he look like a potential centaur? No, no, he's only got two legs. He uh, could be like that guy in the Hercules cartoons but you can't deny with the only two legs. The power of magic, deception, Herc, Herc. Francis. That's yeah. New. yeah. Was Newt Herc's son? In Newton. Her like, no, I don't think Newton was Herc's son. Like maybe one night he got kind of busy with the goats and her and Newt came out, you know, nine You know what? Later. I hadn't even thought about that. I know, I was like, Because, oh. you know, he had, you know, Hercules put that ring on and he got powerful. Maybe he used that to seduce a goat. Yeah, it's quite possible. What's but your... I believe we're in Canada, this could be Narnia, and I wouldn't really know the difference because uh, it's subject to belief, isn't it? And what's your name, my friend? I am David. Hello, David. I'm Ed. This, this is or this is? Uh, I'm Ed. Greetings, Ed. Greetings, Welcome David. Welcome to Narnia. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks for dropping by. Yeah, enjoy your uh, enjoy your afternoon. Okay, I will. Right on. Thanks. That was that was David from Narnia. Um, that's why I love being out here on the street here in uh, Toronto. You never know who you're going to meet and what you're going to find. Um, and uh, when you're out on the street here in Toronto, sometimes you're here on holiday. People come from other parts of the country to uh, visit Toronto because it's the holidays. It's summer. And uh, the best way to enjoy summer is to have some friends over, have some beer, have a dog. Like in this video by Bad Holiday. It's called 19. Take a look.
supposed to be mine, man. I'll just drink it. I'll just fucking drink it. All right, this fellow apparently needs $88 to fix his phone. It's very specific. I'm assuming that there's no HST on that. Otherwise, how would you get a round number like 88? Um, would anybody like to help uh, this gentleman? Uh, uh, hello? Hi. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you? I haven't seen the sock in a long time. I know, it's been a while. How you been? Okay. Yeah, this is uh, my old VJ co-host, Teresa Roncon. Uh, how you been? I don't know that I see. Oh, isn't that nice? Would you do you know the guy who wants eighty-eight bucks to fix his phone? Do you know that guy? I think they should go. F themselves. You think they should go f themselves? Well, they don't, it doesn't cost eighty-eight bucks to do that. Yeah. You're, well, what? then, just like amigo, they could put their dick in their mouth. See? If they could put their dick in their mouth, they wouldn't leave the house. Well, then, see, that's all that matters. What's your name, my friend? Amanda. But Amanda. You know what's cute about cigars? What's cute about cigars? Cigars are actually better than filters because filters are the one that's poisonous, just like people's mouths. They don't know the truth, so they don't smoke it in real life. So in reality, see, we got the paper, we got the smoke, and we ain't got no bullshit. See, this is where we this is where we get science. We believe in science on this program, well, and Amanda just gave us science. Man. Just gave us science. Oh, All right. Some chick busted my head up. Somebody busted your head up? Yeah, but I'm still okay. Well, you seem okay to me. Because I'm better than stupidity. You're better than humidity? Stupidity. Oh, stupidity. Sorry, I didn't hear you very well. Humidity is what conquers everything. That's the sun. But when it goes down, we get a nice breeze. You're right, if it's a nice breeze now. If people can't handle the heat, they should just get out of the kitchen. I agree with you. I agree. See, Amanda comes down here and makes some sense for us. Amanda, you ever heard of uh, the Black Matilda? No? Black Matilda is uh, a song by a band called the Rum Jacks from Sydney, Australia. It's so cute. Thank you. And uh, there's an East Coast band that call themselves Black Matilda. Oh. And uh, there's a video for Must Sail Away. So we're going to show that. You know that in the Urban Dictionary, Black Matilda is peyote? No, I just know that you guys are lovely. Oh, well, thank you very much. So uh, will you join me in throwing to Black Matilda, I Must Sail Away? A song? A song, Black Matilda. I don't know how to sing. You, you don't know? OK. Here we go. Amanda and I are throwing to Black Matilda, I Must Sail Away. Here on New Music okay, Nation. Ready? Yay! Way to go. I can't do it. Way to go. Created by Brad Lanham. When the tide rushes in and you feel at home again, there's a peace that purifies your soul. Though you never really know just which way the wind will blow But I'm sure that I must sail away When the tide rushes in and you feel at home again There's a peace that purifies your soul Though you never really know just which way the wind will blow But I'm sure that I must sail away Spent most of my life carried by the sleepless nights In dreams that I'd hit the open sea Alas, I'm still abound, but it's time to hammer down And be the man I'm destined to be If I had one only wish, a dream to set me free I'd be the captain of
time away But if heaven is a place, it's an ocean Hey, uh, Tim, walk around it a little bit. Show us, show everybody. This is uh, some urban art down here at the uh, city of Toronto. It's, uh, I'm trying to d d discern the meaning. Is this a commentary on urban life, on the paucity of spirituality left in today's society? Um, or is it just a bunch of crap? I'm really not quite sure. Maybe I'm not qualified to, to, to judge. All right, uh, hello, it's me, Ed the Sock. Uh, we're back on uh, New Music Nation, and uh, we're going to listen now to a video from a, uh, a band called The North... Well, not really a band. It's one guy. One guy's not a band, unless he's like got cymbals on his knees and a harmonica around his neck. Then he's a band. But this is like a singer. Uh, his name is The North Sound. That's not really his name. His real name is Forest Eagle Speaker. No, I'm not making that up. That's his name, Forest Eagle Speaker. And uh, he works with his partner, Nevada Freestad. Uh, that's amazing. Forest Eagle speaker and someone named Nevada. This is like some kind of 80s movie. Anyway, uh, the North Sound was created as a way to share stories in keeping true to Forest's Blackfoot identity and traditions from Treaty 7 territory. Uh, he's an actual indigenous artist, so when you see at the beginning of the video indigenous paraphernalia hanging from his rearview mirror, it's not just some crap a woke asshole bought at a dollar store. It's legit. Uh, the North Sound has had four singles reach number one on the Indigenous Music Countdown. He's won Sask Music's Indigenous Artist of the Year. Oh yeah, he's from Saskatoon. Um, and we're not playing this song because he's Indigenous. This isn't some kind of, hey, we, we have a quota, we need to play. In no, it's not like that. We're playing him because he's damn good. It has nothing to do with him being Indigenous. And I'd like more people to play Indigenous artists in the mainstream instead of putting them aside to Indigenous awards. This guy's just good by any objective standards. So uh, let's uh, take a, uh, a look at the North Sound between the ditches here on New Music Nation.
Yeah, apparently, uh, my friend Amanda uh, likes to be a bit of a social butterfly. She's hanging around. See that guy in the orange shirt, the yellow shirt? He's the guy that hung the junk up at the, the sign here with the tennis racket. And is he wearing a toga? Is this a toga party? Toga, toga. I wonder what the hell they're talking about. Like, I'd love to be a fly on the wall or on that guy's head uh, right now. Like, what do you think they're talking about? Physics? Oh, they're getting real close. Very intimate there. That's crazy. Okay. I suspect that each of them is talking, but neither one of them is listening. This is my suspicion. But I'm kind of getting a bit jealous at this point. I thought we meant something to each other, Amanda. All right, up next on New Music Nation is a band called the Dirt Road Angels. Now, uh, I understand in porn parlance what the dirt road is. And uh, this is not about that, and shame on you for going there. Um, th this band, according to this video, they like their men extra dirty. Uh, but for those of you gamers who spend your days in front of a console not bathing, this is not about you. Uh, this is four very talented women from Edmonton. And look, they get in this video, they get into like there's some muddy water and they throw mud on each other. And it's like mud wrestling from the 80s. And yes, I'm aware of my, my, my history with the wet t-shirt contests and the hot tub. But I had nothing to do with this video. I didn't suggest anything. I, I found it. They sent it in. And there it is. I had nothing to do with suggesting this video. I, didn't, I, I had nothing to do with the art direction. It just happened to be that this is a video set in, in mud and like mud wrestling. So all we need now is a video with dwarf tossing. We'll be right back in the 80s. Okay, um, are we allowed to call them dwarfs now? No? Little people? All right, uh, here they are, Dirt Road Angels on uh, New Music Nation. Some girls like them clean cut and clean shaved with them shine shoes on them. Sunday driving chrome wheels, but ain't never left the road. Some girls got a sweet tooth for a sweet boy, heart of gold, mama's pride and joy. Vanilla's their flavor, but I'm about to rock and roll. Mr. Righty, right for me, cause I like my man extra dirty. Big tires ripping up the ground, tracking mud for miles. I get my heart racing, put me into overdrive. Clean off with a slow swim and a slow creek where we're nothing but the summer breeze. Crossing lines makes me feel alive. Money. 
right, that was the Dirt Road Angels. And uh, ladies, great video. Good luck with the hepatitis. Uh, up next is uh, a, a band called Mountainhead. The song is Soul Stain. And no, uh, Mountainhead is not something you get from a horny billy goat. Uh, this is the Hanna Brothers. They're from Ontario. Uh, now, I'm not sure if they're supposed to be rogue Amish guys with a British dentist or bad ZZ Top cosplayers. But either way, they're not going to get any endorsement deals from Gillette. So let's take a look. Uh, trust me, you got to watch this one on uh, New Music Nation. with soul stain uh, the music was pretty good but I feel like everyone in that video could have benefited from a shower in fact just watching that video I feel like I need a shower talk about hepatitis if you 
love me, you'd help me hide this body If you really care, you'd help me dig a hole If you love me, you'd help me hide this body If you don't, you won't see me till parole If you love me, you'd help me hide this body If you really care, you'd help me dig a hole So maybe somebody out there can help me. What exactly is the difference between a Korean hot dog and a regular hot dog? I mean, they all use lips and lobes. Um, but I'm wondering if Korean hot, Korean hot dog and sandwich, it sounds like it might be a move in the Kama Sutra. And that would explain why it's next door to the G-spot. Never been so easy to find the G-spot before.
You know that sign that says round butt? <laughs> At first I thought it said round butt. <laughs> All right, anyway, we're back here in New Music Nation at the Sock with you on Yo Canada. Our next video is from a DJ and another guy. Uh, it's No One Knows and KVNE. I don't know how you pronounce it. Is it KVNE or Kvinny? I, I really, you know, Kvinny actually sounds like one of the names of furniture at an Ikea store. The Kvinny. It, 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 it's a lovely lacquered table. Anyway, uh, Kvinny is from Hamilton and DJ No One Knows is uh, from Australia and, and uh, Britain, but they're part of the Commonwealth, so they count for Yo Canada. You know, can, can people not have emergencies when I'm doing v VJ throws? Like, can someone have a little bit of common courtesy? Honestly, no respect for my craft. Anyway, um, he wears a mask, this no one knows. That's why his name is No One Knows. And uh, what does it say about your work, your art? You put it out there, but you wear a mask so no one can recognize your face. Exactly, that's what it says. All right, in this video, uh, one of the main characters looks like Nickelback's Chad Kroger's secret brother who's been locked in an attic since birth. Watch it, you'll see what I mean. Time of death from No One Knows on K and KVNE here on Yo Canada. I guess it's time to call it quits Call it time of death You put out your cigarette You left me broken like the rest I still remember when we met I still wish you never left I knew that something about you different I could feel something been switching Still feel like you coming back My mind racing to it left I don't know where I'd be without you Every song I write's about you Without you I don't wanna stay here alone Don't wanna wake up without you
Next up, ah, this band, I love their name, The Shit Mats. There's a poetry to that, Shit Mats. Um, uh, to be honest, it was the thing that attracted me to their video in the first place. Because when you're going through a list of 500 names of bands and videos, a, a name like The Shit Mats just jumps right out at you. And you gotta check it out. And this is uh, their video, Reefer Madness. They are an Ontario-based band. Their lead singer, Cat Commander Clyde, had a country folk solo career. And they remind me somewhat of a classic, of the classic punk band, The Stooges. So here they are, The Shit Bats. Reefer Madness, a new music nation.
right, that was the Confusion Airs, Sour Mash. It's a little Edmonton-based rockabilly band. Reminds me of Brian Setzer and the Stray Cats. Now, if you're a zygote, you don't know who Brian Setzer and the Stray Cats are, so uh, go Google them and uh, look up my favorite song, uh, Rock This Town. If you don't like that music, you have no soul. All right, uh, now it's time for the consciousness raising portion of the show. And, I mean, music is used to entertain, but also to challenge and motivate. At least it used to be before it went all to commercial crap. Uh, we got three videos here that do challenge and motivate. Uh, Rags and Bones is a Toronto band that reminds me of Rage Against the Machine, but with more Canadian rage, which is kind of like just a hard stare. Uh, but Unity is a good song and the video makes its point clear. Down With The System is by London, Ontario rapper Someone. Uh, she's Someone we'll be hearing a lot more from going forward. She's going to be hosting our rap program, Rhapsody. Uh, but up first, Too Soon Monsoon and Equal. When I first saw the name Equal, I thought, aren't those those little bear-like guys from Return of the Jedi? But no, that is actually a native name and that was very insensitive of me. Too Soon Monsoon and Equal uh, is a comic in all seriousness. I think the plight of Indigenous people in Canada has moved from a boutique cause to one Canadians of all backgrounds are interested in. If you've just crawled out from under a rock and need a primer on Indigenous concerns, here it is from Saskatoon-based Too Soon, Monsoon, and Equal. Have a look.
for the third night running, parts of Minneapolis were burning. They believe that an unarmed African-American, George Floyd, was murdered. Can I breathe? Red. Can I breathe? Use the drone. Yo, tough, 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 tough. This morning, a devastating chapter in the U.S. fight against COVID-19. The virus death toll climbing above 200,000 Americans. I'm not going to answer the question Why because, answer that because question? the question is, the question is, is, is just as the radical left, would you shut up, man?
It's time for us to say goodbye here on New Music Nation, our first show, uh, Yo Canada. Thank you for joining us. Uh, now, we're going to close with some high energy here. Pale Lips, by the way. You ever had Pale Lips, uh, Tim? Can't say I have. Can't say you have? Okay. Pale Lips is a, maybe a sign that you're vitamin B deficient. Okay. Or that you're in a bubblegum punk band from Montreal with a really catchy, upbeat, irreverent offering to close out the show. That's been the first edition of Yo Canada on New Music Nation. I'm Ed the Sock, and this is The Kids from the Pale Lips.